A week from Sunday, Randy Orton will challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship at Clash at the Castle. But tonight here in New Orleans, he goes one-on-one -on -one with Dominic Mysterio. Rey Mysterio falling short to the Viper two weeks ago. How will Dominic fare against the number one contender to the world title here tonight on SmackDown? But we kick things off from the Smoothie King Center in New Orleans, Louisiana. Just over a week away from our trip to Clash at the Castle in Cardiff, Wales, the United States Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, set, for, set to compete here tonight if we can get out the excitement. And it was announced earlier this week, Cody Rhodes' opponent for Clash at the Castle, where he will defend the United States Championship. We're going to talk all about it all throughout this evening here on SmackDown. Let's get ready for your opening contest. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes won the United States Championship back in August at SummerSlam, defeating the ring general, Gunther. And since then, he has successfully defended the gold against the one and only Ricochet. Mere than evil Braun Breaker and the man who made his debut here on the season premiere of SmackDown two weeks ago accepting Cody's open challenge that being Grayson Waller but the story that we have been telling over the last couple of weeks that continues to be written what happened after the bell after Cody Rhodes defeated Grayson Waller to retain the United States Championship the confrontation that leads us to a championship matchup one week from Sunday in Principality Stadium in Cardiff, Wales. But first things first, Cody's got to get through the Nigerian giant, Omas, here on SmackDown. And his opponent from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian giant, Omas. If Cody Rhodes can survive Omas tonight, he will defend the United States Championship a week from Sunday in Principality Stadium. One-on-one -on -one against the franchise player of WWE, John Cena, the newest free agent in the WWE. Surprising us all two weeks ago at the season premiere of SmackDown, face-to-face -face with the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Cena threw down the gauntlet, but was willing to earn his opportunity. We saw last week on SmackDown, John Cena I'll bite barely surviving Braun Breaker in a main event clash that Braun Breaker certainly controlled. But in the end, Cena, a super attitude adjustment from the middle buckle and was able to get the victory over Braun Breaker and certainly earned his opportunity against Cody Rhodes for the United States title. And as we continue our road to clash the castle, we make a pit stop right here in the sold out Smoothie King Center, New Orleans, Louisiana. Hot and heavy, ready for Friday Night Smackdown as we kick things off with Cody Rhodes trying to topple the Nigerian giant Omos. Omos is not a man who is undefeatable, but it's certainly not an easy task as Cody Rhodes is gonna try to figure out tonight. Last time we saw Omos in action was at last month's No Mercy event. It was a grueling matchup for the one and only Ricochet. Ricochet ended up surviving and thriving and defeating Omos on that night. The Nigerian Giant, this is his first match back in action since that night in Baltimore. And you gotta imagine Omos is fired up to come into this match with the United States Champion Cody Rhodes not only to bounce back from that loss last month at No Mercy, but to try to earn himself a future United States Championship match. Cody Rhodes so close to his bout with the franchise John Cena a week from Sunday. Gotta imagine would love to get this match done in a hurry, but that is easier said than done against a man like Omos. It's well documented here on SmackDown. It's one thing to knock Omos off his feet. It's a whole other thing to keep him there. As Cody Rhodes is finding out firsthand, and now Omos looking to squeeze the life out of the United States champion. Make him regret signing the contract to get into the ring with the Nigerian giant tonight. 
Cody Rhodes got to get out of it. Trying to find a way. If there's a will, there's a way. And the American Nightmare has built a career on grit and glory. A couple of elbows, a haymaker, overhand chop. Cody Rhodes not afraid to break things down to a brawl, but rejected by Omos that time. Omos is such a difficult opponent to beat inside of that squared circle. And Cody Rhodes may have met his match here tonight. We have not seen Cody take a loss here on SmackDown since back in June in his first altercation with the ring general Gunther. A loss that Cody Rhodes would avenge back in August in SummerSlam. But Cody Rhodes may be seeing defeat tonight as Omos ragdolling the United States Champion on the outside of the ring. This is not going to go well for Cody Rhodes' momentum and for Cody Rhodes' endurance heading into his match with John Cena at Clash at the Castle. They don't call him Big Match John for nothing, and Cena's been on the hunt for championship gold, whether it be here on SmackDown or when he was over on Raw, all throughout 2023. Turning his sights to the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, Cena looking to win a championship that he has had success with in the past. As Cody Rhodes miscalculates it. Thought Omos, I believe, was down on his feet. And Omos is gonna make him regret that decision. Shoot slam by the Giant into the cover. Will that be all she wrote? Here in New Orleans, not just yet. Cody Rhodes able to survive, but for how much longer? Cody Rhodes, I believe, thought Omos was in distance to hit that moonsault. Unfortunately, nobody, nobody home came back to bite him in that moment, but there's Cody delivering off a springboard maneuver. Disaster kick to the much larger and stronger opponent. Omos is down, but for how long can the United States champion keep him there? You can only imagine what a loss tonight would do to the psyche of Cody Rhodes heading into his match with John Cena in Principality Stadium. Big time matchup with huge clash at the castle and United States Championship implications here tonight on SmackDown as Cody Rhodes didn't get all that moonsault. Got enough to keep Omos down, however. Still to come tonight in your main event. The man who will challenge Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship in Cardiff, Wales, a week from Sunday. That being the Viper, Randy Orton, set to go one-on-one -on -one with Dominic Mysterio. Big time match tonight in New Orleans, plus so much more action to come as the road to clash at the castle continues. Cody Rhodes had a couple of minutes of offense there, but Amas trying to make him regret as Cody Rhodes sidesteps him. As the United States Champion got the blueprint to keep the big man down tonight. This could be a huge win for Cody Rhodes and his momentum. Heading into that match with John Cena. I'm sure Cena has got his eyes locked on this match doing a little bit of a scouting session on a man he has stepped foot in the ring with in the past, but that was many years ago. And as we know, Cody Rhodes a completely different animal in 2023. Oh my goodness! Look at the strength by Cody Rhodes. That may be the biggest vertebraker in SmackDown history, and Omos kicked out. But you gotta give credit where credit is due. The American Nightmare digging down deep. The strength to muscle up Omos, but unfortunately not able to get the three. And oh man, crashing and burning does Cody Rhodes. Omos having the champion shaking in his boots on the top rope. And Cody Rhodes might have thrown his best shot. You know, that took a lot out of Cody to muscle up the Nigerian giant. It had to be a gut punch without actually being a physical one with Omos kicked out. Cody, as we mentioned earlier, has made a career out of grit and glory and fighting from underneath. Will the undesirable once again become undeniable against the Nigerian giant Omos here tonight? Or is Omos just too much for Cody Rhodes to handle? That is the question, that is at stake. We mentioned it before, we'll say it again, but after that loss to Ricochet last month at No Mercy, you gotta believe Omas, super laser focused on this match with Cody Rhodes tonight. Maybe more focused than ever to try to defeat the champion and earn himself a United States title opportunity, regardless of who leaves Clash at the Castle, holding the red, white, blue, and gold. This is not good for Cody. Wait a minute, never mind, never mind. Eat my own words. 
I was going to say, this thing is already a tough battle for Cody. Taking things to the outside probably won't do him any good. I stand corrected as Cody Rhodes tope Suicida through the ropes. That's one way to take Omos down. Just use your whole body as a weapon. There's one thing about that tope Suicida. It can take just as much out of you as it does your opponent. But Cody Rhodes, however, willing to risk his well-being tonight for a victory. But that time did not work out so hot. Oh, wait a minute. Went to the well too many times. The disaster kick. And Omos going to make him pay with a second consecutive choke slam in this match. And that may do it. The United States champion is hurt. And Omos may be nearing a huge win here tonight in New Orleans. Not just yet. Not just yet. Never count out the son of a plumber. Cody Rhodes somehow still with life left in him. As we mentioned, never count out Cody Rhodes. Oh, wait a minute. Cody going behind. What a maneuver. The crossroads on the Nigerian giant Omos. If there's a will, there's a way. And Cody Rhodes found a way to get the one, two, three. What a victory for the American Nightmare tonight here on SmackDown. Omos gave him a fight. Without a doubt, and Cody ain't gonna be coming out of this one 100%, but in the end, the one, the two, and the three is all that matters, and Cody Rhodes' momentum is intact, heading into his fight with John Cena a week from Sunday. Here is your oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Braun Breaker is in the ring, and he's ambushing the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. We must have snuck up on him during the replay. And Braun Breaker, who had his fight with Cody a few weeks ago at No Mercy, lost to John Cena last week here on SmackDown, is clearly not done targeting the United States Championship. Well, this is unnecessary. Cody obviously weakened after that fight with Omos, and Braun Breaker's looking to pick the bones. Unnecessary assault. Oh. Wait a minute, things are just getting more interesting and business is about to pick up because John Cena is in the Smoothie King Center. And Cena going after Braun Breaker. Well, we know respect is there between Cena and Cody Rhodes. And after the fight between Cena and Breaker last week, Cena not gonna allow Braun Breaker to take out Cody ahead of Clash of the Castle. There you go. Does Braun Breaker, John Cena coming to the save, but who will leave Cardiff as the United States Champion? The next time we come your way with a live premiere event, a special joint production of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown, we are going international. Cardiff, Wales, Principality Stadium. It is WWE Clash at the castle and it is coming your way sunday night october the 22nd live at 5 p.m eastern time don't miss this international extravaganza as raw and smackdown present clash at the castle We're back live in the Smoothie King Center here in New Orleans, Louisiana. Friday Night SmackDown pushes forward with a little women's division action. Candice LeRae back in the fight for the first time since No Mercy, where she came up short in her pursuit for the WWE Women's Championship. Indy Hartwell behind her friend tonight as Candice LeRae looks to get back in the winning ways here on Friday Night SmackDown. And the women's division has certainly been heating up in all of WWE as of late. Of course, remember what happened at No Mercy last month. Shayna Baszler tapping out Candice LeRae. But afterwards, Shayna was meant with the Money in the Bank briefcase holder, Rhea Ripley, who cashed in the briefcase successfully to leave Baltimore on that night, the WWE Women's Champion. And of course, we know coming up at Clash of the Castle in Cardiff, Wales, Rhea Ripley from Raw set to defend the WWE Women's title against the new number one contender, the man Becky Lynch. That is an all-star collision, as is the entire card in Principality Stadium. What a stacked night of action it is going to be a week from Sunday. But tonight here on SmackDown, Candice LeRae one-on-one 
with Bailey, and Bailey looking to pick up some momentum for herself. It's been quite some time since we've seen Bailey in the limelight here on Friday nights. So remember, Bailey and Candice LeRae, these were two women who were part of the final three in a battle royal back in August that earned Candice LeRae that number one contendership to fight for the championship last month at No Mercy. I'm sure Bailey has not forgotten about Candice LeRae being a part of the equation that ended her number one contender hope, so. Looking to get a measure of revenge all this time later and possibly earn some momentum for herself here on Friday Night SmackDown. Rhea Ripley, Becky Lynch, they may be from Monday Night Raw, but that championship universal between both brands and I'm sure everybody on the SmackDown roster, wow, is gonna look to see who is leaving Principality Stadium with that title next weekend. Candice LeRae, foot on the gas pedal, Poison Rana follows it up with a little code red. Can is coming out motivated as all hell tonight. Understands that that was a huge opportunity that obviously nothing to be ashamed of in defeat, but that slipped through her fingers last month in Baltimore. And Candice LeRae looking to climb the ranks in the women's division as soon as possible to get another chance, whether that be against Rhea Ripley, Becky Lynch, or whoever's the champion, the time Candice LeRae works her way back to the front of the line. Count out win tonight, certainly. Can put Bailey near the front of the line, my goodness. Candice LeRae may be motivated, but I think we could say the same about the woman in red. Physical matchup so far, only a few minutes in. These two women scratching and clawing for a victory. Nice combination by Candice LeRae. Bailey better get back into this because she's shown some signs of life, but I would say Candice is controlled the majority of this matchup and Bailey has taken a lot of big falls by hands of the Poison Pixie. Drop toe hold. Wait a minute, Candace. I think we know what comes next. Looking for that emphatic stomp right on the canvas. They don't call her the Poison Pixie for nothing. There is a vendetta in that soul of Candace LeRae and it wants victory. Big time win for the Poison Pixie of Friday Night SmackDown. Her tag team partner, Indy Hartwell at ringside, gotta be smiling from ear to ear after that bounce back win by Candice LeRae. Here is your winner, Candice LeRae. Huge win for Candice tonight. What is gonna be next for these two women? Right here on the blue brand, Friday Night SmackDown. Set to continue, Randy Orton and Dominic Mysterio in your main event, but still, more to come. The next time we come your way with a live premiere event, a special joint production of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown, we are going international. Cardiff, Wales, Principality Stadium. It is WWE Clash at the castle and it is coming your way sunday night october the 22nd live at 5 p.m eastern time don't miss this international extravaganza as raw and smackdown present clash at the castle Yes, indeed. One week from Sunday, we are heading to Principality Stadium, Cardiff, Wales, for the 2023 Clash at the Castle, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. And what a night it is going to be in Cardiff. The United States Championship is on the line as the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes meets the franchise John Cena. They have faced off before, but at this stage in their careers, the ante has been up and the gold is on the line. From Monday Night Raw, the Intercontinental Championship set to be defended. Tyler Bate, he has been on a momentum streak as of late on the red brand. Can he ride it into Cardiff and take away the gold from LA Knight? The WWE Tag Team title set for this interpromotional battle as the Brawling Brutes, the champions from Raw, Butch and Ridge Holland, take on SmackDown's Legado del Fantasma, Cruz del Toro, and Joaquin Wilde. Who will walk away with a future WWE Championship match in their foresight? Will it be the almighty Bobby Lashley or will it be the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar? Monstrous collision a week from Sunday. 
There is a lot of history between these two SmackDown All-Stars, Austin Theory, Edge. They will finally settle the score once and for all. One-on-one -on -one meeting set for Clash of the Castle. Who has taken the W? We talked about it moments ago with the WWE Women's Championship set to be defended. The Nightmare, Rhea Ripley, her first championship defense in this reign against the number one contender, the man, Becky Lynch. And Monday Night Raw's main event in Cardiff. It is a last man standing matchup. A personal grudge set to be settled between Seth Rollins and Sheamus with the WWE title hanging in the balance. Something's gotta give. And the main event from SmackDown, Drew McIntyre is heading back to familiar soils to defend his World Heavyweight Championship against a man who has been colder than ever as of late on SmackDown, the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. All that is coming your way a week from Sunday. We will be live, Principality Stadium, Cardiff, Wales, 5 p.m. Eastern time here in the States. You're not gonna wanna miss it. What a night it is gonna be at Clash at the Castle. Well, seven nights ago here on SmackDown, the man on your left, Cruz Del Toro, taking an unnecessary loss to one half of the World Tag Team Champions from Raw, Ridge the Fridge Holland. But tonight, Joaquin Wilde looking to bring the momentum back to Legato Del Fantasma locker room. He's set to go one-on-one -on -one with the other half of the World Tag Team Champions, that being the Bruiserweight Butch. These two men might be from Raw, but those tag team titles stretched across both brands, giving us this very much anticipated interpromotional battle tonight in New Orleans. And his opponent, accompanied by Rich Holland, representing the Brawling Brutes from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds. One half of the world tag team champions, as we mentioned, Ridge Holland defeating Cruz Del Toro last week on SmackDown. And you gotta wonder what led to that loss for Del Toro. Was it fatigue? Because one week prior, two weeks ago, here in the season premiere of SmackDown, Legato Del Fantasma being pushed to their limits by Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser of Imperium to earn that number one contendership for Clash the Castle. Gotta wonder if fatigue played a factor in that physical match with Ridge Holland last week for Del Toro. But tonight, it is the tag team partners of those two men going at it. Joaquin Wilde and Butch right here on SmackDown. Right off the get-go, Joaquin Wilde clearly coming in with a strategy, letting Butch come to him and attacking him off what he obviously was anticipating. It's very interesting clash of styles, Joaquin Wilde. Dare I say, one of the most underrated in the cruiserweight division. Loves to take things to the air. World travel veteran. The cruiserweight Butch obviously can be a grappler, a brawler, a technician at times. And he'll call him the bruiserweight for nothing. This is a man who's a former two-time intercontinental champion. Of course, currently one half of the world tag team champions. Butch is very dangerous inside of those ropes as Joaquin Wilde may be about to find out. This is all getting an early preview of what is to come in Principality Stadium when the prestigious World Tag Team titles are on the line. Of course, the brawling broods. Oh, wait a minute, hold that thought. Butch just snapping possibly the shoulder of Joaquin Wilde. Hey, you take out an arm, you take out a whole way of fighting, and Butch ain't done. Going for a Kimura lock here, adding some submissions to that arsenal has the bruiser weight. Lockheed Wild may be hurt. Butch obviously coming in with his own game plan. Looking to execute it to perfection tonight in the Smoothie King Center. Not enough that time, but uh, Butch again. Look at this. This is the bruiserweight style that has made Butch famous, that has brung him success. The ground and pound. Picking apart his opponent limb by limb. Working on both the arms of Joaquin Wild, just the bare knuckles to the back of the skull and again now on the outside of the ring oh my goodness butch is just absolutely a dangerous man tonight on smackdown and maybe looking to incapacitate joaquin wilde before the tag team titles are on the line a week from sunday and the interesting thing well there's a sidestep by joaquin wilde never mind pump kick by butch holy hell well, I was gonna say, the interesting thing, Joaquin Wilde, you know, he started off this matchup looking hot, but outside of that first few moments, Butch has completely flipped the switch on his opposer. 
Right there, he saw Joaquin had a sign of life, and there you go. Big time thrust kick to the bruiserweight. Joaquin Wilde's got to start swinging. I know we're in somewhat early rounds in this contest, but a man can only fight the bruiserweight for so long without feeling the fatigue. There's no way Joaquin Wilde's arms and fingers are hurting right now. I should say aren't hurting right now, but regardless, is Joaquin Wilde now over the top rope, somersault plancha, taking out the bruiserweight. And that is the cruiserweight style, the high flying, push the pace offense that has brung Legado del Fantasma so much success and has positioned them to become the number one contenders. Wait a minute here. Butch looking to catch Wilde off guard with a bitter end. I don't know, is it too early in the matchup? It is, it is. Butch went for the kill way too early in this contest. The bitter end, a brutalizing maneuver, but not enough damage done on Joaquin Wilde to get the full effect. And Butch just getting spiked right on the crown right there. And these two men fighting tooth and nail since the opening bell. They want the momentum. And you gotta feel a sense of urgency out of the Legado del Fantasma locker room tonight. Yes, they became number one contenders two weeks ago, but then Cruz del Toro falling short to reach the fridge last week. Joaquin Wilde's gotta feel like it's a do or die situation. They don't wanna go in the clash of the castle empty handed per se. Butch just trying to get to his feet. Wild going where he's most comfortable. Another somersault. It just explodes right on the upper body of Butch. That is not going to go well for the Bruiserweights. Definitely powerful attack at times. Physical matchup between Wild and Butch. And still to come tonight on SmackDown. Randy Orton, Dominic Mysterio in your main event. A week from Sunday. Clash at the Castle is going to be a stacked event. Wait a minute. Wild almost stole the victory there. Numbers Del Toro with a quick roll up similar to that. The pin Giovanni Vinci two weeks ago in the season premiere. Rolling Brutes, I'm sure, are watching that matchup nice and close and have really scattered the offense of Wild as well as Cruz Del Toro with a big time Frankensteiner beautifully executed and Wild's not done. Heading to the other top. Oh man, a frog splash and got some great height on it. Into the cover, will that do it? Not just yet, the Bruiserweight's heart is still pumping. Both men battling for momentum for their respective teams. World Tag Team titles may not be on the line, but they will be in Cardiff, and neither of these teams look at a give an inch. Double boots to the jaw. And will that do it? It does! Huge win for Joaquin Wilde tonight on SmackDown. Well, that is a much needed victory. At the Ridge Holland defeated Cruz del Toro last week, Joaquin Wilde able to split the difference and get the one, two, three over the Bruiserweight tonight in New Orleans. Here is your winner, Joaquin Wilde. Momentum's looking not so bad for Legado del Fantasma, dare I say. The Brawling Brutes are gonna have their hands full. The titles may not have been on the line last week. They might not have been on the line tonight, but they will be a week from Sunday in Cardiff. And that is a very viable team that could be leaving Principality Stadium as your new WWE World Tag Team Champion. At Clash at the Castle, Edge and Austin Theory meet one-on-one, -on -one, but next week in Raleigh, North Carolina, Edge aligns with AJ Styles and Theory has chosen Grayson Waller. Massive tag team match next week on SmackDown. And also coming your way seven nights from tonight, after winning the Cruiserweight Classic, the Invincible Ilya Dragunov officially joins the Friday Night SmackDown roster and he makes his SmackDown debut next week. And the hits just keep on coming. What a massive night it's gonna be, seven nights from this evening. Next week on SmackDown, Braun Breaker, Omos, they team up to take on the dream team of the franchise, John Cena, and the United States champion, Cody Rhodes. What a night it is gonna be on the final Friday night SmackDown before Clash at the Castle next Friday night in Raleigh, North Carolina. But it is time for your main event. The following contest is scheduled for 
St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. Well, we want to take you back to last week on SmackDown, the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre successfully defeating the Irish ace J.D. McDonough, but obviously a plot aligned by Orton and J.D. McDonough, as McDonough had attacked McIntyre after the bout and laid out the world champion, allowing Randy Orton to pick the bones. And certainly the Viper did some damage on his opponent for Clash at the Castle. As you see by the footage, the RKO through the announce table, leaving the Scottish warrior staring at the lights. Randy Orton has been chomping at the bit for a one-on-one -on -one match for a World Heavyweight Championship for months here on SmackDown. Well, he's got it. Next Sunday night, Cardiff, Wales, Drew McIntyre heading back to familiar soil to defend his World Heavyweight Championship. And I know Randy Orton has been dominant. He has been destructive. He has left a path of destruction in recent memory on SmackDown. But 2023 has been the year of Drew McIntyre. He has waved the flag of the blue brand. And if I'm Randy Orton, as vicious and calculated as I am, I just might be a little bit careful pissing off the World Heavyweight Champion. But what's done is done, and they will meet a week from Sunday for the championship. But as for tonight, Dominic Mysterio, massive main event under the spotlight here on SmackDown, one-on-one -on -one with the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. This could be a huge shift in the career if Dominic can score a win tonight. And his opponent, accompanied by Rey Mysterio from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, Dominic Mysterio! Well, Rey Mysterio may be in the corner of Dominic tonight, but Dominic is going it alone against the Apex Predator inside the squared circle. Rey Mysterio, of course, taking on Randy Orton two weeks ago on the season premiere of SmackDown. Gave him one hell of a fight. They've had many of them over the years, but in the end, Randy Orton picking up the victory. Now Dominic Mysterio looking to give Randy Orton hell tonight. Pick up a huge win. Here in the main event of SmackDown could be the biggest win of Dominic Mysterio's young career. And Mysterio and Dominic feeling in the Halloween spirit tonight with a little black and orange. I'm liking it. Nonetheless, main event time. Live from New Orleans, Smoothie King Center's been rocking all night long as the road to Clash of the Castle brings us to Randy Orton and Dominic. And Dominic with his foot on the gas pedal right off the opening bell. That is going to be Mysterio's best chance at getting the victory tonight. Randy Orton taking to the outside. I think Dominic is catching the Viper by surprise right now. We said it before, we'll say it again. Dominic looking to give Randy Orton hell tonight. Off the top rope and to the outside. Dominic is looking to see his name in the lights and it could start here tonight. Imagine if Dominic could defeat the number one contender to the World Heavyweight Championship. Would that put Dominic Mysterio in line for a shot at the world title? You gotta believe it would. Randy Orton's got no answer right now. Dominic brought this thing to the outside. He brought it back inside. Now Dominic scaling the ropes, but... Oh, wait a minute. May have spoke too soon. Never take your eyes off that cold, sadistic apex predator, Randy Orton. At the top of 2023, Randy Orton was ruling Monday Night Raw as the WWE Champion. And ever since getting traded to Friday Night SmackDown, back in the springtime, Orton has been hell-bent on getting back into the main event, becoming world champion all over again. We've seen Orton challenge for the title in a triple threat match at Money in the Bank in July, the five-man elimination match last month at No Mercy, and Orton gets his long-awaited one-on-one match for the world title with Drew McIntyre, a clash at the castle. And imagine just how disappointing it could be for Drew McIntyre to return overseas, familiar soils, Cardiff, Wales, only to come short to Randy Orton for the world title. Cannot imagine what would go through the mind of Drew McIntyre if he hears his shoulders counted to the mat, one, two, three, and Randy Orton is proclaimed the new world heavyweight champion. All remains to be seen what is gonna happen live a week from Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern time. 
Right now here in New Orleans, Dominic Mysterio is trying to get back into this matchup with said number one contender. And Orton's on, on the run right now. Dominic Mysterio, his wheels are turning. Randy Orton, he's on roller skates right now on the outside. He doesn't know where he's at. Here comes Dominic, somersault punch over the top, beautifully executed by that young man. Rey Mysterio looking on, proud of his son, but never count out Randy Orton. Randy Orton flipping the switch on a dime right there. Got to imagine Randy Orton, so laser focused on becoming world champion, isn't going to allow anybody to sidestep his momentum, even if you are a member of the legendary Mysterio family. Look at Orton, vicious, boss, reverse Boston in on Dominic Mysterio. Shifting all the way to the front, to the middle back almost of Dominic. Dominic able to pick the ankle, get out of that, but obviously a little damage done. And Dominic, look at that, you see the back, not able to keep up. After that reverse, Boston a moment ago, Dominic Mysterio was going for a scoop slam. Couldn't muscle up Orton because of the damage. Had to resort to the high risk maneuver. Orton up against the ropes. Mysterio looking to keep the foot on the gas pedal, the best of his abilities at least. Into the cover. Number one contenders down. But Orton gets the shoulder up and the matchup continues. From what we understand, Drew McIntyre not in the Smoothie King Center tonight. After that back and forth battle with JD McDonough last week, the post match attack by McDonough. And then the brawl with Randy Orton leading to an RKO through the announce table. McIntyre at home recuperating. Remains to be seen if he will be back next week or if we'll see McIntyre at Clash at the Castle. But either way, Randy Orton has certainly painted a target on his back. And quite frankly, I don't think Orton minds. He's been down this road many a times, playing mind games, trying to get the one up over his opponent. As we mentioned, as Orton takes a fall to the outside, my goodness. Hold that thought as Dominic Mysterio yet again is heading to the top. His best case scenario in this match is to take things to the skies as he continues to do one of the drop kick, but Randy Orton had another plan. And now Orton going back to the rib cage, back to the midsection of Dominic Mysterio. Just taking a beating at a couple of points in this matchup. Orton sending Mysterio back inside the ring. And Dominic, he just needs to get his wits about him right now. I like this decision making by Dominic. This is his father's teachings playing in. Not rushing to go out to the outside and fight Randy Orton. Just waited for him to get back into the ring. Took the moment to rest and it's gonna work out as Dominic hits the ropes. Looking for a 619. Dialing it up, Randy Orton. Does not answer the call. Nobody home on the frog splash. Dominic Mysterio throwing caution in the wind. Wanted the combination 619 and frog splash. However, Randy Orton's been there a million times. He's read that book, and I think we know what comes next. RKO. And it may be academic as Orton goes to the cover and secures the victory. Well, a great effort by Dominic, but Randy Orton makes it a clean sweep over the Mysterio family the last number of weeks. And Randy Orton is hell-bent on leaving Cardiff, Wales as the World Heavyweight Champion. Here is your winner, the Viper, Randy Drew McIntyre felt the RKO through the announce table last week. Tonight he looked on from a distance and watched Randy Orton put on a showcase against Dominic Mysterio. One week from Sunday, we take the talents of these men to Principality Stadium in Cardiff, Wales. Clash at the Castle is going to be a monumental night. But will the night end with that man, Randy Orton, leaving Cardiff as the new World Heavyweight Champion. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you next week in Raleigh. Good night, everybody, from SmackDown.
pace on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a ride.